Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for the Banner Saga 2, as we continue our run here, now over here with uh, the Ravens. And, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Uh, the last dredge falls and you pause, taking in a heavy breath. The snow is finally abating. The storm is moving south. Let's get inside the gates, you say. All right, so here we are in the gates. Um, got the barn. We got the market. I guess we'll check the market real quick. I mean, we're not going to buy anything with Renown, that's for sure. And we obviously don't have enough. We don't have any around for anything anyway. So it does not matter. Guess we'll go to the barn. The smell of hay and yucks dung is heavy as you enter the stout wooden barn. Zephyr and Nichols are talking in hushed tones to the guard captain, Gudmunder, who glances at the large cart nervously. Everyone knows why we are here, she says. I do not believe in coincidences, but I cannot begin to imagine what would draw an army of dredge to Bindal besides the contents of this cart. She moves her spirit in intricate motions, occasionally shaking her head and starting over. Finally, she looks at you to open it. Hmm. Okay. The sight of the sunder Bellower's body in the cart silences everyone but you. You howl as the memory of a dream tears through your mind and drops you to a knee. A strange tower of white stone, a lightning, fear, confusion, distress. This is a wrongness about it all. There is a wrongness about it all. Ulverk, hey, Olga's voice draws you from the dream and she's shaking you by the straps of your cloak. Everyone is watching. Another dream, she asks. Your eyes finally focus on hers. A white stone tower. Lightning. What are you talking about, Zephyr asks, pulling away from a, the cart. Her tone is full of concern. I saw a tower. Lightning. I don't know what I saw. The Valka pauses briefly before shrugging. This is unexpected, Zephyr says. The Valka looks unaccustomed to surprises. Gudmunder, continue your task. Nichols, take some fighters and open the mine. Keep that path clear at all costs. As both men begin to leave, she points to the cart and shouts, Not a word of this. They nod out of their way out. She turns to you and Folka. This cart. I'm not sure why they are attacking, but if the dredge would capture Bellower, he's dead. Who cares if they take him? He cannot die. His immortality is more than a, is more than rumor. Dredge lives have no natural end, but they can be killed. All except the immortal Sunder Bellower. They live forever? Zephyr nods, but looks lost in thought. How do you know all this? Zephyr sighs. The Valka know many things about all life in the world. I cannot go into further detail right now. Why did that to be so secretive? Further detail? That was no detail at all. There is an army of dredge coming for this cart. I will tell you more when it is safe. The storm to the south and dredge army to the north leaves us with one way out, the mines. Wait, our way out is to sit in a hole in the ground? The Valka have pathways there that will grant us escape. But with all these people, it will be difficult. Tell her to leave the people. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what he would do. The families will only slow us down. Leave them. Zephyr's face hardens and the air around you thickens. That attitude may work in your company of mercenaries, Varl, but not with me. Only I know the way, so we will leave here with the families of Bindal or not at all. A growl begins in your chest, but Folka breaks the tension. If we go with you, what is required? We only have a couple hours to move food and people to the mine. I'll be at the opening preparing the way. Help load carts near the gates or warn families in the houses of our immediate departure. Without waiting for a response, Zephyr hurries away. You know, we could always take Bellower's cart and make a break into the mountains. The two of you reseal Bellower's cart. Of course, a town in chaos is tempting. Makes you wonder what we might find in the Great Hall. Um, I mean, again, we're a mercenary who only cares for herself. I'm not playing nursemaid for, to these people. Let's go. The shield maiden follows you to Raven's Post without another word. When you arrive at the Raven's Post, you notice over half your fighters are missing. Where is everyone? Volka asks the guard. A few went with that young minor to the mine, she says. A good number are outside the walls looking for a fight. A few more, well, they went looking around in town. Idiot, she screams. Wrong time for any of you, in any of that. Your thoughts exactly. She looks at you. What do you want to do? Stick with fun leaving. Find, in, find who you can. Sure, I mean, we're getting out of here. We're leaving you, Grout. Get these fighters ready. I'll bring back the Raven's... Outside the walls, Falcon knows you're going to fight and wants to join, but she says nothing. Killing these slags never gets old. Finish this mess and get back to the others.
No, oh, just out of range. Just out of range of that too, so we have to move up a little bit. Um. I don't want to move up too much. I think we'll just insult this guy. Can't get close enough for anything. Uh, I guess we'll just move up as much as we can. What's Guts do? Just knocks back adjacent. Yeah, it's not going to help us here. Ooh, stealthy. All right, you can at least move up and do something here. have a lot of willpower, so I guess we'll just do a belt double move at this point. Thought they may, might come and attack him, but they just decided not to. Second attack. damage to you. Alright, what do we want to do here? Probably kill a little puppy dog thing. <laughs> Not really a puppy dog, is it? Yeah, I think we'll do some damage here. Get a little bit lower. Um, Let's just do another bloody flow, I guess. that thing pretty low. Do much of this guy. He's not very good, is he? Guess we'll do some strength damage here. At least it's something. Man, I think another insult here works because this guy's the strongest at the moment. At this point, we're basically whittling them down. There's only one that's got any... Well, I guess the dog here. <laughs> the thing that I'm calling a dog. Um, 
What do you got available to you? I don't have a good... Uh, actually, what I can do is move to here. And then knock you back here. Uh, wait, did I do that wrong? Guts. Can I not... What am I missing? Can I not... All units... Oh, adjacent to the target. Okay, I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, never mind. All right, fair enough. I mean, I think we just go ahead and kill this thing. That's fine. I mean, we'll try. I'm just saying, the 90% chance is pretty good. Alright, you can actually do an attack here. Alright, not too bad. We lost one guy, but that's not that big of a deal. Get to your post, you shout. We're leaving. All of you trudge back into Bendel to find Grunmunder and his men with weapons drawn on a fiery, on a few bound and kneeling ravens. Olka looks furious but says nothing. Found a few of your birds trying to help themselves to things that weren't theirs. The captain says, killed two before these submitted. In different times, I did kill them all on the spot. Kill them and I kill you. The guards bristle and ready their weapons, but Grun... Grun Gudmunder stays calm. His stare is calculating. A good thing we need fighters for whatever's coming. If they're pathetic thieves, he boots the man in front of him into the dirt for emphasis. They'll have to live with that. The other guards do the same. Zephyr's ready for us all to move out. Gudmunder adds, We didn't load enough supplies or sweep the city to make sure everyone is at the mine, but your help with the dredge outside bought us some time. Thank you. A grunt is all you give him. The guards leave and Folka turns to you. No use trying to split now. As if reinforcing her words, a loud slam against the gates announces the dredge arrival. Everyone to the mine, mine, you shout. I knew they weren't going to let us split. Oh, I got a lot of clansmen. The mine shaft is cramped, and more than once your broken horns knock against the rough ceiling for a timber. You follow Valka Zephyr at the head of the caravan. She is lighting one of the many bracketed torches along the way when, when shouts from the mouth of the mine reach you. Dredge, the gates in the town did nothing to halt their advance. Gudmunder and his men will slow them, Zephyr says, but it may not be enough. They have orders to collapse the opening if they're overwhelmed. Will, uh, will you keep them from being overwhelmed? For mercenaries, not volunteers. I think that's fair. That's how he would a answer. And no price will cover the cost of us all dying in this mine shaft, she says. I'll head back there if you want, but if I die up there, she looks at you. The torches will burn out, the food will run out, and then the real horror will start. <laughs> we'll do it, but we'll talk price later. That's fine. Yes, we will, she says. We need to talk about many things. You turn and shout, Ravens, back to the top. Heading up the mine shaft is like swimming against a current. Frightened villagers push forward, and you barely have room to get past the oxen cart. Godmunder, in his grim manner, looks pleased to see you. No real plan, he says. Just kill me as many as you can. The Ravens around you smile at his words and begin to chant. All right, so we got Godmunder. Um, I'll show you. How do we want to do this? I mean, I want to bring Crummer. I want to bring Bercy. I don't want to bring... I mean, I'm going to bring all my Varl. Well, most of my Varl. But, uh, who do we want to put first? We put Crummer first. Spark can come in handy to help 
mitigate anybody that's just like crazy, right? Like that's, you know, affecting us. Uh, that's is really strong is what I'm trying to say. He can really push them back in the back in the rankings. I think I'm going to go ahead and give him a promotion. I think he might be worth keeping around as much as we can. I mean, he's not really here for shield attack. So I think we'll primarily give him two points here, to be honest, because that's going to help him do more of those insults. So I think we're going to bring him. Honestly, I may just bring... I think I'm going to bring one less, Varl. We'll bring Volverk, that's fine. It'll probably either be Folka or Zephyr. I'm actually going to bring Zephyr here, I think. She's probably got ranged abilities like... Ivan does, I would imagine. So we'll go with that. I'm going to put Spar a little further up so he can start his insults sooner. And then I think the rest of this looks okay. What is that? Oh, I didn't read it in time. Oh, well. All right, um, you're gonna go kind of right there. You're gonna be over there. You're gonna come up this side. I think that's all good. You just need to be close enough to do your thing. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of keep you back here, I think. Uh, you can move up to the front there and you can stay back behind him. Can move an ally forward in the gesture. I forgot about that. Uh, I mean, it's a good one. I don't know if it's necessary right this second. So I think we're going to do damage here. Just get him down to one. I mean, that's the guy we want to keep pushing back if we can. I guess we're gonna have to just kill this guy then. Oh, stop attacking my own people. I keep forgetting he has that ability. It's alright. One damage is not the end of the world. <laughs> Plus, it's, it's the guy that we don't like anyway, right? <laughs> just kidding. These guys are just summoning people. I think we can accept that. Alright, how far is your insult? We need to move up. One, two, now we're two. Okay. One, two, I guess I'll be there might be enough hopefully it is yes it is good uh blocks damage we're just going to keep focusing on just knocking this guy down. All right, so what kind of abilities do you have? Let's say, do you have, you do not have the same ability the other guy does. So you have Runic Gale. Randomly creates runes of power within a seven tile diameter area. Randomly creates runes of power. Okay. Are these good things for us? If we put them over here? Sure. Ah. Increases armor. Increases armor break. Cool. Alright, we gotta get you out of the way, my friend. Oh, are you not summoning people? I assume that's what you were doing. All right, we can move over here and get a little bit of armor, I suppose. Oh, and uh, some willpower bonus. Nice. You've just stuck in here. Uh, we're, we're just gonna let you rest for a second, get some willpower, it's fine. We gotta move some people out of the way. 
Oh, we didn't get the insult back off you. Oh, because his turn came sooner because we killed some people. That's all right. I mean, we can do another insult now, I suppose. Some damage from his own guy. All right, you need to move up and engage something here. I guess you can move around to this side and hit him. All right now, these guys with the spears are more dangerous than anything else. Maybe a big old chunk of shield that should keep you alive for most of the rest of the battle. Guys are pretty strong still. Go chunk of shield damage off of him. That'll help. Plus the follow through attack is very nice. So what is it these guys are actually doing? I actually don't even know. I assumed they were doing a uh, uh, summoning, but it didn't seem like that's what happened. I don't really know where for you to move. I guess we'll just move you up and we'll do an insult on one of these guys. I did not see that bomb. I thought he threw it, but I couldn't find it. And then maybe I'm just blind, but yeah, I did not see where that went. Are those things doing an attack? Is that what that's doing? It's hard to tell. I want to make sure it actually kills him. Oh, another one. Oh, more came. Three more. Now these guys do summon. Oh, four more. Uh oh. Uh oh. I thought we were in a good spot. Not so much. Fall back. We're closing the mine. Okay, that makes sense. Bjorn. Only Zephyr was injured. It's not too bad. A little bit of renown. Fall back. Gudmunder repeats. The opening is ready to come down. As everyone sprints into the mine, the guard captain tosses you a heavy hammer and points to a timber. You deserve the honor, he says. You turn and look at the gray sky, the snow. And Bindal and the dredge walking towards you. With a hefty swing, the timber snaps and rocks begin to fall. 
You drop the hammer and race down the shaft toward the light of the torches. Uh, Alright, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will continue into the mine shaft. I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.